All right, we're moving on to quarterfinals. We got Spencer Lee taking on Gary Steen. Handshake, and here we go. It's Spencer Lee in the white and red, taking on Steen in the blue. Spencer Lee fires an attack, re-attack there by Steen. Heavy hips there from Spencer Lee, who goes head in the hole, circles behind. He's got two, working for that gut, making it four, six, and he's not gonna stop there. His parterre offense is next, level eight. One more turn, will end it. And that's a wrap, 10-0. 27 seconds, all it takes for Spencer Lee to get off the mat. And we'll see you in the semis. As we are underway now, 57 kilograms in the right, in white and red, that's Spencer Lee. He's taking on Nittany Lion Wrestling Club's Josh Rodriguez. Spencer Lee, your top seed here. Fresh off a title at Bill Farrell. Spencer Lee looking to bring home a senior nationals title. Be his second of his career. Hand fighting so far. Spencer Lee controlling center. He had a 30 second tech in his opening match. Shot from Lee, defended by Rodriguez. We're gonna have a passivity warning against Josh Rodriguez. Next one, he'll go on the clock. Collar tie from Rodriguez. There's a shot attempt again from Spencer Lee. He's all over him. Hard hand fight, setting the tone here. Another level change from Spencer Lee. High crotch attempt, he throws it by the underhook to the other way, transitions to that gut wrench. Lee up 2-0. Really good work from one way to the other by Spencer. Oh, nice left side. High crotch by Josh Rodriguez. Spencer throws the head to the inside, and he's going to give up one on the step out. Nice shot by Rodriguez. Well defended by Spencer to not give up the takedown. He still gives up the step out point. Another shot attempt from Spencer. William Sprouse. William Sprouse first call, not six. Single leg attempt from Josh Rodriguez. Inside control there by Spencer. Another hard right club from Josh Rodriguez. And official stops action. And we're back at it. Wrist control from Spencer who fires fast and he's gonna finish two more. That was quick. And he goes right to that gut, so seamless. He was threatening the lace. Now goes head between the legs on that lace, gets two more. Rapid fire leg lace, and how many points will he have when the dust settles? 10-1, a point away from the tech. And you know, you think Spencer's so great on his feet, but then the parterre is next level. Gut and lace. Another shot attempt from Spencer Lee. High crotch, needs to finish for the tech, he's close. Josh attacking that leg, they're gonna give the two. Two confirmed, and that could be the match. William Sprouse, second call, Matt six. William Sprouse, second call, And what's gonna be the, Matt six. It's gonna be the call here. We're gonna have a brick here from the Nittany Lion corner. And I don't think they're gonna, I don't think they're gonna get much for their action, but Coach Tom Brand says, yeah, throw the brick. Kind of funny. Coach having a word with the whistle. And I don't see much getting changed here. 
So we start at 57 kilograms, then go to 62 kilos, which is women's freestyle, then 65 kilos, which is back to the men, and all the way through to 130. So it'll be and are they going to wipe the takedown? On mats one and two. In a new semifinal bout, takedown wipe. And now they'll go to the period break. For opponent. From the New York City RTC and Titan Mercury Wrestling Club, Maya Lipkona. All right. Now we're back. Second period underway shot from Josh Rodriguez. And there he gets in deep on that single leg, just Rodriguez, but great defense. Spencer able to kick out of it. He's back in on that high crotch. Rodriguez looking for that ankle, loses it. Now looking at spin around defense. Backside double finish here, and that's gonna be two more. And there's the tech for Spencer Lee, 12-1 winner. Punching his ticket to tomorrow's finals. Spencer Lee continuing to roll here at 57 kilograms. Spencer Lee. There you see Iowa Spencer Lee, three-time NCAA champion for the Hawks. Getting a high five from Tom Brands, Dan Dennis, his coaches. He's going to be taking on a very familiar opponent, a former training partner, Nico Megalutis. Yeah, both these guys, same high school, Franklin Regional, and now here they are in the Senior National Finals. And worth noting, Spencer Lee doesn't have to be here. He's already qualified for the Olympic Trials, but he wants the matches, he wants the experience. He's got a great test coming right up. This was a great match in the Bill Farrell Finals just a couple weeks ago. Now we are back underway, 57. Nico Megalutis coming out. Hard physical hand fight there in the blue, in the white and red for the Hawkeye Wrestling Club. That's Spencer Lee. Underhook right away from Nico Megalutis, drops to a knee, trying to drop under, get to legs. Spencer Lee in the red singlet. Nico Megalutis. Now short offense position here for Spencer Lee. Pulls Nico down to the mat. He's pretty powerful from this position and Nico knows it so he gets back up on his feet. We're back up 27 seconds into this one. Lee with a lot of ways to score. And there you see that pancake takes him right through for two. It could have a gut. Could we get two more on the turn here from Spencer Lee? His parterre offense is really good and the mat official making Nico let go of his hands. Now dropping down to the lace is Spencer Lee transition maybe up to a gut wrench and two takedown for Spencer Lee to get it started. Gritty defense there for Megalutis not to go over. He had his arm trapped at Lee and tough fight there, just 2-0. And that's key. If you want to beat Spencer Lee, there's a good chance he's going to take you down. You've got to avoid those turns. He's so lethal in parterre. If you give up those turns, that, that exposure, either gut wrench or leg lace, the match could be over in a hurry. One of the rare wrestlers with a gut and a lace that are equally good. Low single attack, that's one of Nico's best leg attacks. He can dart in, and even though he's a veteran of the game, he's still just as speedy as ever as Nico Megalutis. Big cut down from 61 kilograms. He's been wrestling at 61 for a while. Now back at 57, the Olympic weight, and a re-attack here from Nico Megalutis, but Spencer Lee able to square up. Lee been spending a lot of time in that short offense position, and the feeling maybe he wants to wear on Megalutis in this first period. Back to our feet, 125 remaining. Back to action, 122 to go. 57 kilos for the championship. Sweep single, deep shot there for Nico Megalutis. Defended well by Spencer Lee. He's able to square up with him. And now this is where Spencer can really make you pay the price for that leg attack. Minute six to go. And he darts in on that high crotch. He's in deep, but you see Nico Megalutis catches the foot for his action, but we're gonna see him driving over on two takedown, two confirmed. And now maybe going to work on the top position again as Spencer Lee, he's up 4-0, 53 to go. So far, Nico defending well, parterre. Megalutis, a lot of effort in that bottom position. Lee got to that high crotch position so quickly. His speed to the leg is really, it really sticks out watching him, how quickly he's able to level change and dart in on that high crotch. And there another floor, you can see so powerful from that right side underhook, can just throw it by. Twenty-eight 
26 to go. 4-0 lead for Spencer Lee. And Nico Megalus, he just never stops moving. Tenacious at all times. But now, once again, in that kind of over-under short offense position where Spencer scores a lot of points. 10 to go now. Megalutis gonna head into the break, trailing 4-0. And it was the second period in their Bill Farrell match where Megalutis was really able to make up some ground. So going into this break 4-0, you gotta imagine Megalutis probably not super concerned. He knows he's gotta get to work, but I think he believes he can do it. No question about it. Nico has the offense to come from behind. There's that opening pancake from Spencer Lee for two. Mega Lutis, a little bit from a, a different era in terms of working and training. You don't see that as much anymore. It's working for him as we're underway, second period. 4-0 lead for Spencer Lee. Leg attack, looking for that same high crotch, not there. This time, Nico Mega Lutis clears out of it. Mega Lutis picking up his footwork a little bit. Ooh, nice low single, but look at this rear tie. Head in the hole goes Spencer, running behind. He's close to the two, puts the knee down. There's two more. 6 0 lead for Spencer Lee. And now he goes head between the legs, lays, but Nico able to defend. Both Spencer and Austin DeSanto had a lot of success getting turns from that position. So not in this instance for Spencer Lee. 2.20 to go as underhook darts in on the single again does Nico Megalutis. Whizzer there from Spencer Lee. Nico above the knee trying to get up to a standing position on this single. Now he's up to his feet. Spencer trying to get that foot on the mat. Defending well Spencer Lee but Nico improving his position. And there's going to be two blue. Nico Megalutis on the scoreboard. Wow. Getting the leg, and he did he motion to the corner for the brick? Did he want two and two? I, I think two, just two, was the right call. I agree. Just the two for Nico off that single leg. Nice shot. Now he's trying to dart in again and again on that single leg. This time can't get in. Spencer catches the shot, and he's got him over under. This is a position where Nico has to remain vigilant. Kind of an inside reach there for Nico with that right hand, kind of propping that leg up. And the hand fight not slowing from Nico. He is getting his hands and feet moving. But just as I say that, high crotch, Spencer Lee trying to work for two more. Nico trying to work a counter. He's attacking through the crotch of Spencer Lee. He's got his hands locked, but Spencer looks like he's still comfortable working through this position, trying to finish. Minute 12 to go here, fun scramble. Hard to say who's gonna score. As I say that, Spencer may be improving his position. Gonna be able to take Nico over the top. Trying to come all the way behind is Spencer Lee. One minute to go. Threatening a crossface cradle. Maybe a bit reckless from Spencer. As now we're in Nico that's looking to finish a leg attack of his own. As Spencer catching the ankles. Trying to turn and face is Spencer Lee. Nothing as Spencer catches that inside reach on the leg. What a fun scramble this has been. And now could it be Spencer that ends up with the two? Trying to pop his head out, he's attacking the head. Will he work to get height or is he just gonna hang on with this lock? Near leg now in for Nico Megalutis. Back and forth we go in this exchange, 20 to go. And this has eaten up a ton of clock for Nico Megalutis. Now the foot is on the outside as opposed to being between the legs. That's a better position for Spencer Lee as he's slowly, methodically working to a little bit better position. But really, it's just a position that's eating time. Seconds tick away. And that's how this one's gonna end. It's a 6-2 win for Spencer Lee. Fun final scramble there. That high crotch extends the entire second, uh, final minute of this second period, David. You know, you said, you said the word methodical and that's what was going through my mind throughout Spencer Lee so fast to the leg. And then it just looked like Slowly solving the puzzle, trying to get the takedown. At a certain point, he realized he didn't need it. He could ride it out for the stalemate, just kind of stay down in there, and he got it done. Spencer Lee wins the Bill Farrell, now wins Senior Nationals. Looking good. Great performance for Spencer Lee. He's going to get another cowboy hat, but let's take a look at some of the action there. As you see that opening pancake.
And again, High Crotch is so fast, and you see he's able to finish that and ends up winning 6-2 final. There he goes for his cowboy hat, fitting here in Fort Worth, Texas.